Hello, I'm Brian Grills and this is uh, Dan from Phoenix History. Dan from Phoenix History. Meeting up again to do a video of the Medway Valley, looking right into the sun there, and the Medway Viaduct. Would you like to say anything about the Medway Viaduct real quick? I am a virgin to the Medway Viaduct. Ah, right? Medway Viaduct I've virgin. Never, so I'm, I'm capably in your capable hands, sir, of like it's showing me this. not very often that you'll hear Medway and virgin <laughs> in the same sentence do you know what i mean that's so. the one that's it for me everything else whatever goes on today that's the best thing that's the best line that's brilliant no yeah absolutely yeah christ I'm even even i feel a bit sick saying that yeah oh, it, God, it's, guys, it, don't, it's not don't good is it right. no, <laughs> i think we've just about got all right on the weather yeah, well, it's a bit breezy. It's a bit breezy, but it should be all right. The I've sun's brought, definitely. I brought my external mic packs for when, because when we're on that bridge, gone well, like, no, I've gone proper oh, hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad here because no. uh, now this um, thing point there, uh, this underpass, I used to see that driving up the motorway, right? All right, yeah. And yeah. I think I wonder where that comes from and uh, like, yeah. And then I've made a mission then. To just, I mean, this underpass is to show this underpass is only what I don't know, 100 foot long, it's not even that, is it? It's only no, it's only a very short underpass, and it's nothing special. It's littered with graffiti, littered with litter, as you can see. Spray cans, at least it's consistent litter, it's mostly spray cans. Do you know what I mean? Is that the is that the um gas? Uh, no, that's just a spray can stuff. Sort of just a it's spray can. Expert, by the way, just no, and I mean, you've got your usual nonsense, you know. But this, oh, hang on, we've got a man on his bike doing his thing. Actually, let's just pause that there. So, yeah, man. The man on his bike was avoiding the, the various bits of litter and glass and stuff. But you've got, you've got sort of... Some it's a Pinocchio, isn't it? Just remember. Is that who it is? Trying to look that look, is it that bloke from Pinocchio who makes the Ch he, no Geppetto? No, not Geppetto. That, that little weird little creature that stands there. I, no, I don't know. But um, and then you've got sort of drawings like this, which although it is still technically vandalism, but it, it, it is artistic in a way. And then you've got the other nonsense. Um. You know, uh, let's let's use let's use just a random name, and it'll say like um, Darren is mega. Yeah. And or the sexually frustrated. Yeah, the the sexually yeah, I mean, frustrated amongst the, us. You know, the, <laughs> you know, Darren is mega. Tracy is a slag. That sort of thing. I always wanted to know that a cocaine sucks. You know. Yeah. Just, uh, it's I mean, useful to know because I mean we know who a Akko is exactly. Yeah. You know, so we can look at that and we can we can go. Oh, you. Oh, Akko is it? Oh, yeah. Whether whatever gender Akko is, whether. I think it's weird because like, unless you come from Medway or you're familiar with Medway towns, this could be quite alien to you. This language and this. Sort yeah, of absolutely. Language. You get to learn. You get to be frequent in uh, <laughs> in Chathamese. You know what I mean? It's. Uh, Let's just move that. Yeah, you get to be frequent in Chathamese. Yeah. Uh, and you know how the, the yokels, uh, locals <laughs> speak, the vernacular, you know, the speech patterns, yeah. and you can converse with them yeah. up to a point. And then yeah. sometimes it just becomes... If, there, if it was filmed now, you'd have to have like a translator. Or... Yeah. Um, do you remember Rabsy Nesbitt? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, Rabsy Nesbitt. Uh, Rabsy Nesbitt. I mean, he was hilarious, but sometimes I did find myself struggling with... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, his pronunciation. God, that takes you back. That does. Yeah. Your string vest. And yeah, like... and his blazer. Wow, yeah, cool. Anyway, all that, all that aside, shall we, uh, shall we crack on? Yeah, get, absolutely. get moving and grooving. We've made it to the other side of the Medway Viaduct. We're in Borstal. And we are not human kites. We've not got flown we away. We didn't get blown away. Now, what's interesting about Borstal is this is where the first Borstal yeah. actually was back in 1904. Victorian times, I suppose. It was a long time, time ago. Yeah. And it was here where the first Young Offenders place was. Yeah. Hence the term, you'll end up in Borstal, lad. 
that's where it come from, Borstal, here. I mean, I, I knew about that, but you know more than me on that. But that I mean, is, I probably got the date wrong, but it was no, the it, early... Yeah, it was definitely in that period. It was the early 1990s. Because you got that's now a prison, isn't it? For young offenders, actually, isn't it? Actually. Uh, yeah. Myra Hindley was actually here. Really? Myra Hindley, yeah. Only because I know Fort Borstal, the actual fault, and they've sort of conveyed part of that into the prison itself. And I remember looking at it a while back, and I think he... I, I might be wrong. I think he's for now it's still for, for various prisons, but I think it mostly... The young, back again young now, people. Maybe, but yeah. yeah, but this is where the first Borstal yeah. actually was. So, if you've ever seen the film Scum, oh, yeah. which I highly recommend you do, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, it's yeah. a definitely good film. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through this oh, man there walking along. Good morning. Um, we're going to walk through this footway. Now, under here is well, through here we're actually going to be underneath the Medway Viaducts. This is the Borstal side underneath. You get a really good view of what the three, well, it's two, but it's, well, no, it's three really, isn't it? Because you've got, look, you've it's, got the two, you've got the original 60s, 1960s one. This this first bridge, yeah, was opened in 1963. Six, yeah, and then you've got the extension in 2001. I can't remember in my history. The early 2000 and, yeah. and something. But this, this first bridge had both the uh, London band and coast band motorway traffic. Because I don't, because obviously I'm not old enough to remember that. I, I know some of you might be as bit of surprise I wasn't born in the 60s, but I don't remember that. But I do remember, I do obviously, I've known about this for, well, I've driven over it even when I was a kid, obviously. It's quite, yeah. an, old, it's quite an important... Because I remember when they to. was building, when they was doing all the work, I can remember it, because there was cones on the Medway Bridge yeah, yeah. for about 47 years. It was just cones I mean, off. I found some, in the history list on mine, like, you'll, you'll see I found some really interesting photos of when the extension was taking place, with the big old cranes yeah. that were properly guided down in the middle, really good. But yeah, it's so nice to see that in sequence, really, when you're underneath it. You can, now, what I've just spotted is a flight of steps. Now, I do like these oh, little bits and bobs. I don't know where it goes, but we're going to have a look, because I like that. Oh, it looks like a... Uh, electricity substation. Let's just see if we can see what's over there. Yeah, yeah, all transformers and what have you. It's not. It's not very. We'll show again. You know, danger of death. And I believe them. Yeah, I, do. I believe them. I'm not going to be going and the ones having I a look. would believe a sign written yeah. by the government. Oh dear, controversial. But yeah. do you remember back? I don't suppose you do. Um, so back in the old days, people of a certain age will remember the public safety videos. Ooh, yeah. And there was one where a boy and his kite gets caught in an electricity pylon. Yeah, I do remember that one. And he says, oh no, it's all right, it's all right, I'll go and get it. And up he goes, up the uh, up the pylon, and then boom! It was weird, because I remember the one, when I, um, I'm going to obviously, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the world's greatest driver. However, I did have a bit of a slip up when I accidentally sped and got caught for a fine. And I got taken to that school that you can wipe your points off of if you just spend about 10 hours there, basically. <laughs> the Look, driver awareness. Yeah, yeah, that's it, driver awareness course. Um, and I remember they showed that video, the infamous one, that it's a girl or whatever, and she gets hit by the car, and you see her contort and go. Obviously, it's not a real person, but like there was people in there literally going to vomit because they've not seen it, and it was, and it's, it does make you, you know, it's like, and they do that old think about British safety things. Yeah. that really do haunt you a little bit. Do you the know what one I mean? with the, they also had one I remember seeing with the kid on the train tracks, and he slips and he gets his ankle Ooh. caught. And yeah, then his mates yeah, yeah. run off and leave him, and then the train comes down, and then it all just all fades Jesus. black. And that, that really did the trick and put me off of playing around on train tracks, even to this day. Yeah. So nobody nobody needs that in their life. But no. this was this was in they used to show these uh, during the kids' TV adverts. Well, they used to show them in my actual primary school. I mean, like yeah. we were primary school kids watching that sort of stuff, like. And they'd also, and they'd make it really obvious. They're like, you know, the train track down the road. This is what'll happen if if you go on that. This is what'll happen. Yeah. And you're like, oh, crikey. But anyway, <laughs> moving on, yeah. moving on. So there's not a lot here. Uh, just this little uh, wooden bit and a flight of steps that I just had to climb because that's just what I like doing. Do you think they're for say sound reduction as well? Because actually, when you're down here, you'd expect that to be a lot noisier. But you know, the actual barriers. The, the sound. The, the sound difference. 
from when we was on the bridge yeah. to the sound difference now. Huge. It, I mean, we've got this traffic going along uh, the Walden Road, but it's not as loud as it could be. That's because if you look through the trees, the camera won't be able to see that. There's that thick wooden fencing because yeah. there's houses there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, shall we push on? Just it, mate. We've made it across the Medway Viaduct. Uh, it was very windy. Now, there is a formula you can use to judge whether you're going to be safe in the wind. What you do is you get your body weight in pounds, you half it, and that is the wind speed you're safe in. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you're going to be safe in up to 50 miles an hour winds. That's the go. formula you use. For people on their bikes doing their things, there we go. If I turn the camera this way ever so slightly because nobody wants to be filmed. See, bro, you're full of amazing information. I'm full of just useless love trivia. It. Well, love it, mate. Yeah, I mean, who the fuck will put that on there? Well, I don't know. Yeah. It does look. Well, look, even the GPO is somewhere in that window. Oh, is this the place you were talking about? Yeah, the edge? Ah. Former favourite place, too. What's it called? Chiquitita. Chiquito. Oh. There's no. Chiquitita. That was a popular chain. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are, we're in the Medway Valley Park. And the Medway Valley Park lives in the shadow of the Medway Viaducts, which I'll let's just do a quick zoom, is there. The bridge you can see first is coast bound, the bridge in the middle is London bound, and the far bridge is HS1. And we're here, just, uh, uh, they've got Cine World over there. There's a Premier in there, just over Dan's shoulder. There's a Mackie D's around the corner. It's not a bad place, the Medway Valley Park, but the speed bumps, the speed bumps are killer down here. They really are. The speed bumps are savage. Oh, yeah. Now, do you think that's, that's supposed to be there, isn't it? That's not yeah, vandalism. Yeah, no. That is... Uh, Viva La Flavor by Stephen R.S. Page says at the bottom there. Yeah, good work. Good work indeed. It fits in with the aesthetic. It does. Uh, feed the family for 15 quid. Oh, yeah, I suppose. You know. Water's Edge. Never been in there. I've been to City World though. I've not. I went in there once with my wife, Mrs. Grills. And we sat there, there was quite a few of us in there, it wasn't a busy day, but we sat in there for about 40 minutes watching trailers because they forgot to put the film on. <laughs> Somebody went out and said, mate, when's this film starting? So, uh, if you look through there, uh, we started off on this side, up there somewhere, uh, uh, you know, and we walked across and then we was on this part of the bridge deck there going across 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 all the way to Borstal and we're on the Strood side now so we stopped off for something to eat really quickly and we're just going to make our way uh, to the underside of the bridges the underside I think you can sit underneath the coast bound but you can't get underneath London bound I think I think that it's too far across so, Frankie and Benny's, fifteen quid for a burger. Um, burgers and hot dogs, classic cheeseburger, thirteen pound ten. Crispy barbecue chicken, fourteen pound twenty. Smashed Biff's wing stacker, fourteen pound seventy. Chicken and halloumi, fifteen pound thirty. Frankie's signature buttermilk chicken, sixteen pound forty. Double bacon cheese, £17.50. Now, that would have to be some... I'm not trying to put anybody off of going there, but that would have to be some prime beef. Uh, feels a bit breezy as we're getting here. That would have to be some prime beef cheeseburger right there. Yeah, you'd literally have to... I'd, I'd hope with that amount of money that they'd actually kill it themselves. Yeah, I'm just going to step back a little bit because of that breeze. You used to yeah, build yeah. in this cover. Kill, for, kill it themselves. And for that it. price, I would want King Charles himself <laughs> bringing it to my table um, yeah, yeah. for that sort of money because that is... 
that's pretty serious cash. That's what I said when you start justifying it with how much you get paid per hour. Yeah, sort of we've, so we've just had a conversation about how you justify the cost. Um, I don't think I could. It'd have to be pretty. It'd have to be a pretty substantial burger. But you'd have to really like someone. Yeah. If you were. Yeah. If you was if you was taking a young lady there or a young man on a, on a date or taking somebody there, it's, it all gets confusing now. It gets muddy now. Isn't it? <laughs> if you're going on a date with somebody, a person of your choosing, a human being, uh, taking another human being, <laughs> uh, and you're hoping to get some, you know, some action later on, and maybe you could justify spending that much money. But yeah, but apart from that, I'm going to stop filming now because there's children knocking around. Dan's just a, a little way back. Uh, he's gone on a bit of an explore. Meanwhile, meanwhile, here I am under the bridge. Uh, there goes the Eurostar. Well, not the Eurostar. The train, the javelin, I think it is. Now look at this. I don't know if you'll be able to see the bridge underneath. Underneath the bridge deck. That is pretty substantial. You don't really realise when you're down here, uh, unless you're right next to the bridge supports, you don't really realise just how substantial uh, these columns are. These columns are huge, and I know they've got to be. I know you could say, well, you know, they've got to be huge, but just they're just they're gargantuan, they really are. But tripping over an empty beer bottle there. Oh, here he is. Dan was just mooching around in there. So, was it was it all you hoped for? It was, it was, it was more than I hoped for. Because actually, <laughs> <laughs> you do see like there's a seat. You see underneath the train one. Yeah. A nice little sort of inbox. Yeah. I don't know if you see that. It's a door. Look. Yeah. Let's just there. zoom in. If I'll get the zoom right. Yeah. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnels into the. Because you, if you look up maintenance in it. Yeah, I mean, if you look up oh, here, yeah, look up there, yeah, look, 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 look. yeah, you can see, you know, it's not just an bridge. No. There's all kinds of infrastructure that goes along with it. I mean, I would think you could probably walk in them columns if you, you know, you so they can check the underside. Well, I know cool. Ah, yeah. Now look at this, doesn't it make you sad? But yeah, there are, yeah, there you here. can't see, you can't see anything. It doesn't matter. But, it's quite a buy. It's quite a take so, for it. Yeah, you all go on Google Street View. Yeah. But you can see the underside of the bridge. Just, just look, that's got to be a walking platform there. Oh yeah, 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 you can see that, yeah. So there's all kinds of, you know, see, you could get on the other side of the railings but you know but I was just saying you don't realise how big these columns are no. until you're actually face to face with oh, them oh no it's a proper bit of heavy industry it's yeah. and it's like, like the amount of time where people are watching these videos and not actually realising just to stop and take a look and go what yeah I mean these three these three viaducts here are quite impressive, and, if, and this is what I was saying earlier. If you look here, these bridges aren't very close together. Yeah, yeah. But then when you get to the Bristol side, yeah, completely different. The the train line peels away. Yeah. On its way through the hills into Maidstone. So, yeah, it's just getting really windy again. Should we push on? Let's do, man. Here we are. We're back on the Strood side of the Medway Viaduct, and we're at the uh, the memorial centerpiece plaque. It was on this very bridge that the Eurostar travelled at a British world record of 208 miles an hour on this very bridge. 208 miles an hour, Dan. That is a British record. Yeah, mate, I know. It's a shame because, like I said, the, I mean, although that's an interesting image that they've got there. Yeah, why, why do people feel the need yeah. to come along and just ruin stuff? I'd prefer the actual information. Right? Yeah, I'd prefer call me the old fashioned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, call us old fashioned and you're a couple of old boys and all that, but 
Yeah, give me the, just the information yeah. every day. Yeah, no. But anyway, I've been Brian Grills. I'm down for Phoenix History. Thank you for watching. See ya. There goes the Eurostar. <laughs> Right on cue. Which is why we had the information board. Which is why we had the information board. <laughs> uh, take it easy, I'll catch you on the next one.